Want to get started with electronics and designing circuits, but don't have any equipment? Tinkercad has you covered. We checked that out today on Quick Tech Tutorials. All right, guys, so thanks for stopping by. Today, we're going to explore the circuits uh, option in Tinkercad. So Tinkercad is a free uh, website program that anybody can use, sign up. It's pretty easy. Um, they have options in terms of 3D printing and modeling, uh, but they also have an option for circuits and electronics, which is what we're going to explore today. So uh, if you haven't signed up, you can go to Tinkercad.com, sign up, uh, create an account. Pretty simple, quick to do. Um, once you do that, this is the home page that you will see. So on the left hand side, um, I have 3D design, circuits, code blocks, and lessons. Uh, if you click circuits, um, it'll take you here. So if you have not created anything yet, um, you know, you'll create a new circuit. And as you start to design different ones, you will see them down here. Here was one that I had made previously uh, where you can always go back and edit and play around. So purpose of this video is just to give you a little overview, the layout, how it works. Um, and how to get started. In later videos, I'm gonna go into different components and circuits and get into the more technical stuff. So we're gonna click uh, create new circuit and it will take us to the design area here. So one of the first things you'll notice, it says discover pre-made circuits to build from under starters. So we'll close that out. But if we do drop down this menu, we have components and then we have starters. So under starters, if I were to click basic, you could see some basic circuits that are already made and you could just drag those in and see how they operate. Um, they even have stuff with Arduino, which is really cool. A lot of stuff that uh, Tinkercad offers in this area. Um, if you go under components and we click basic, we have some basic parts. So resistor, LED, potentiometer, switches, a couple batteries, a breadboard, the Arduino board, motors, servos, you know, a uh, little multimeter. So enough to get you started. If we click the drop down arrow again and we click all, it gives us quite a bit more. And I'm not going to go through every single part here, but you can see just scrolling down, we have some more sensors. We have dip switches, different types of LEDs, uh, different motors and servos, um, an IR remote, different displays, LCD displays. Um, a solar cell, even a potato battery, um, different size breadboards, microcontrollers, um, even power supplies, oscilloscope, different integrated circuits, so on and so forth. You can keep going and check that out. Um, plenty of stuff to get you started. And I like this just again, uh, if you want to start learning about electronics, maybe you're a teacher looking to find new lessons or you're a student who's assigned something and you need a little help. I like all this because you don't need to have one single part in your possession. Not only can you build the circuits, but Tinkercad will also allow you to simulate them to see if it is built and operating correctly. So let's go through some of the controls here. Um, to drag a part in, just click on it once and you click on it a second time and place it. And whenever you uh, place a part, a menu may come up. So you can give it a name. In this case, I'm just going to call it resistor. And you could also change the value if it's a part that can have a different value. So in this case, Tinkercad gives us a one kilo ohm resistor. If I wanted to make it a five kilo ohm resistor, I could simply type it in. I could also change the unit itself. So if I had to go much smaller, right, instead of kilo ohms, maybe I'll just go to ohms and I can make this, you know, a 250 ohm resistor. Whoops. 250 ohm resistor. You can do that. And what's cool as well, if you know about resistors, they're identified by that colored band. So every time I change it, you will see that those bands will also change as well. So pretty cool little feature there. All right, so I have a 250 ohm resistor and we just click off and that's now placed. Um, to manipulate this part, we have um, just these buttons up here so I can rotate it. And if I press the button, it'll rotate, but it also, uh, if you notice under the word rotate, there's the letter R in green. So that's our hotkey. So if I just press R on my keyboard, right, I can rotate it um, around as well. If I wanna get rid of it, there's the uh, trash icon. There's also the delete button on your keyboard. Uh, there is an undo button, so I could press this or do control Z. Uh, there's a redo button. I could press this or hit control Y. Uh, we're going to keep this up here for a second. If I want to leave myself any sort of note, I could press this. Let's say click here, and then I could type in uh, whatever note I need. So I'll type in, you know, 250 ohm resistor. Um, and I have the option to actually drag this around, um, you know, as well. I could toggle notes on and off if I don't want to see them temporarily. 
And then the last two options, uh, we have wire color and we have wire type. So we'll get into that in a second as well. Um, if I want to get rid of this, um, I can click on it and then press delete and get rid of the note as well. All right. Um, let's take a look on the right side here. So in addition to just having the parts in the name, if I click the switch to list view, it will actually give me a little definition of what each part does. So that's pretty good too, especially if you're getting started. Um, you're not a hundred percent sure what something does. This is a nice little, uh, option as well to give you uh, just a little more information about the part you are working with. Um, all right, so I'm going to build a really basic um, circuit just to show you the simulation and some other cool features. So I'm going to make an LED light up. So I need a power source. I'm going to type in battery instead of just scrolling through. You could also use a little search bar here. I'm going to drag in my nine volt. Let's rotate this around. Um, with Tinkercad as well, what's really cool is any sort of connecting points or leads on an object, if you just hover over it, it will actually tell you what it is as well. So my battery, there's a positive and negative uh, terminal. So here's positive, here's negative, which is nice. On my resistor, it'll tell me terminal one and terminal two. You know, and if you have any more specific parts, it'll even tell you what the pins are uh, and the names, which is pretty cool. So I have a battery, my resistor, and let's get an LED in here as well. <clears throat> Here we go. So uh, to connect parts, you simply just click on one uh, connecting point and we're going to just click to the other connecting point. So two clicks is all it takes. While it's highlighted, if I want to change the wire color, you can make it red. Um, if I wanted to change the wire type as well, let's make alligator clips. Um, clearly a little big right now for this circuit, but it'll even show you the types of clips as well. I'm just going to make it a normal wire. Um, let's finish connecting this. So I'm going to connect the other end of my resistor to the one part of my LED, right? Anode is positive. Um, so you can see on my LED as well, right? We have cathode and we have anode. Um, and then the last part, cathode, will go to my negative. And um, let's just make this black. Why not? Uh, let's say I want to test and see, is my LED going to light up? There is a start simulation button up top here. So if I press start simulation, and if I did it correctly, my LED should light up. So let's take a look. All right, it does light up. However, I like Tinkercad as well, because if you have any sort of issues, it will let you know. So right now it's saying that the current running through my LED is actually too hot. So if I were to build this in real life, um, I'm going to start to burn out my LED. So I need to reduce the current going through. So, um, you know, in this case, we're going to, let's say, let's up the uh, resistor value here. So let's make it 500 ohms, hit start simulation, right? And now that message is gone. So I'm all good to go there. Um, so again, if you have a bunch of LEDs, you have switches you want to test out, you can play around and interact with all of these parts, which is a nice feature. Last couple things to show you here before we're all done. Uh, if I want to change the name of the circuit, so Tinkercad always starts with a really random name. Um, you could just click once in here. We'll call this uh, red LED and click off and it'll automatically change and save it. Um, and then up here, right now we have the circuit view. I can go to schematic view, right? And it will actually generate the schematic itself. So you can see we have a schematic symbol for an LED and battery and resistor. Um, and probably just because of how I have it built in Tinkercad, it's kind of uh, going a little all over the place, but this is a nice feature nonetheless that you can see a schematic and even download it. And you also have a parts or a components list. So if you were to build this in Tinkercad and then build it in person, what's nice is I can download this and print it out. And, uh, uh, you know, it'll tell me uh, not only what the name of the part is, but also how many of them I need and even the value of them. So that's pretty cool there. All right. Um, let's go back to my circuit view. Last thing I'll show you guys, uh, if I click send to, um, I can actually download a picture of my circuit. So I can download it. Um, I can then print it out. So once again, if you made something in Tinkercad and you want to use it as a reference uh, to building something in person, you have that option as well. So this is just a quick overview of the circuits uh, option in Tinkercad. I'll be definitely making more videos on uh, more of the specifics and technicalities of all the parts that are here. Uh, but thank you for stopping by. You have questions, make sure to leave them in the comments uh, and take care. We'll see you on the next one.